Hi, I'm Mayor Winningham and you're watching Life Minute TV. It's very special to me to be nominated for Girl from the North Country because I've been with it for four years and I've been in love with it for that long. I thought it was over a couple of times. We've reopened three times, who does that? Uh, and we've kept our beautiful company intact to this moment when we've gotten a nomination for Best Musical of 2022, a historic season. And honestly, of all of the things I've worked on over the years, this project has everything that I love and cling to when I want to go to see a piece of theater or a musical or a play. Um, I long for this kind of writing. Um, so to be in it and uh, delivering it and a part of it for uh, means everything to me. Um, and then on top of that you have Bob Dylan's songs. He's I've been a huge Dylan head for my whole life. So yeah, here I am getting to sing Rolling Stone and Forever Young every night. Like, a rolling stone. like many people, Blood on the Tracks was just a huge record in my life. I still play it almost daily. Um, so almost every cut on that record hits me emotionally. Um, but you know, Forever Young is probably the greatest prayer ever written. I mean, it's something that I, I want to sing to my children, to my grandchildren, to my parents, to the world. It's just a perfect song, a perfect prayer. One of the great things for me about being finally being here in New York for the last decade doing theater, which is really what I always wanted, I had to kind of take a detour, uh, uh, had a big family, didn't wanted to raise them in, in nature, and so I kind of knew I had to put aside my theater dreams for a while. Um, in theater, the process seems very clear cut to me, because it is all the writing. You just, if you find a piece of writing that grabs you um, and starts to unfold, and you realize, oh, I, I need to keep going then you know you're in for a ride. Um, and with film and television, I have had so many different uh, uh, phases of my life. I'm embarrassed to say there were times when I was, you know, a mother of young children and I would, I really skated by in many ways in terms of like what I consider now research and, you know, going deep. I, I very much stayed on the surface, and what's wild is that sometimes you can look back on those and realize that, that wasn't a bad thing. You know, sometimes we do our best work when we're least burdened with thoughts. And then, of course, there are things that embarrass me where I think, huh, you could have worked a little harder on that. Um, and then there are times when I've just really delved deep into something and hit a bottomless pit and found that, oh, this is great writing. I try and jog three miles or so a day, but during the pandemic I started walking like, I don't know, seven miles a day. It was so satisfying. I, I don't think I have the time for that. It, um, that was particular to that period in my life when the world stopped. And so I found like wandering was a really wonderful healthy way of uh, using my time but just in general I try and uh, jog every day and stretch. And I don't think you'll ever regret um, being kind and finding a way to look at, a, at the bigger picture I don't think you'll ever regret that but I often get asked by younger actors you know how do you make it or I never know what to say but then I, I thought no you know what it's because there isn't one way and we are you know, when people are trying to look like, well, he did that, she did that, um, I just always end up saying, just, just find a place to do a play and do a play, because you'll find out more of what you need to know as an actor by getting up on stage with a group of people with a good piece of writing. When you find a play and you, I love that it's called a play, right? It's not work. It's, when you find a play and you play, you, the world will open up and you'll figure it out. You'll figure out what to do. 